these ex great examples of a door closes and a window opens because I had been despondent about another show that I'd done, a musical version of Mary Bow's Triumph of Love, and didn't think I'd ever find anything else I loved, but I rented a whole bunch of movies one day when I had the flu. And uh, I started watching Hairspray, and I said, oh my God, it is a musical. <laughs> Here it is. I grew up in Baltimore, and I was, in fact, a senior at the same time that Tracy Turnblatt uh, was going to the Corny Collins show. I was watching that very, the Buddy Dean show, which was the model for Corny Collins at home, and I would dance with my pillow and pretend that it was somebody I was madly in love with. But more to the point, uh, I am Jewish, and I, Baltimore is a very southern town, and quite um, segregated, not only racially, but also in those days, uh, according to religion. So I do have a personal connection with the writing and the issues as a young person growing up in Baltimore and feeling, to some degree, on the outside. I saw Tom Stoppard's Invention of Love, which I had seen two other places, once in London uh, and once in California. And I don't think I had a complete appreciation of the play until I saw Jack's work. And I was so blown away by the emotional uh, depth that Jack was able to explore and deliver to the audience. There was so much heart in the show that I thought, this is the man who should do Hairspray. Jerry had always wanted to do Hairspray. And uh, when we took it to Jack, it, he was not as sure. He didn't know the material as well. He didn't uh, initially relate to it as well as Jerry had, but they had a wonderful relationship based on their work on Full Monty. And Jerry played the score for Jack and urged him to do it. And it was because of that that Jack took it on board. And Jerry's sense that he was absolutely right to do Hairspray from the moment he heard the project was being done, actually even before, because he had tried to get the rights for Hairspray himself. In Hairspray, they have to sing, dance, and act, and all at an a, uh, incredible intensity, and they do it to perfection. So I think all I can say is it's distinguished by its excellence. What do you think? <laughs>